Hello, welcome to my desk. My name is Lena and um, yeah, I don't really have anything that I want to paint today. I'm totally blown for ideas. Just empty, empty in my head. It's been <laughs> a very busy day. <clears throat> and I'm procrastinating making um, my weekly upload to YouTube because I haven't really been creative the past week. So uh, I am so lucky that Friday seems to be the day where people are uploading journal flip-throughs. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't have to be like a finished journal. It can also be something that you're currently working in. So I thought, why don't I just um, do a miscellaneous video of just stuff going on? And I'm so lucky that I have received some happy mail. So I could start with that first. I, I can't flip this envelope around because then it will show some address. But this is from Devon. And thank you so much, Devon. You're so sweet. Look, there's a, a photo print of her artwork. Isn't it just amazing? I love her style of collaging where she's taking uh, a twist on things, you know. I just uh, really love her way of thinking. <laughs> and then there is a card inside and also this. And I, I must admit, I have opened this and looked it through because I'm bad like that. I can't wait for Christmas Eve before opening my Christmas presents. So I have looked through this heavy mail and I love every single piece. I especially love this tiny envelope that she made out of something I think was a pattern, a sewing pattern. And it's filled with uh, small stickers. Oh man, I want to take it out without ruining it. Because, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna save everything, even the, the packaging and the washi tape on the packaging. <laughs> <clears throat> All these small things are supposedly, I think, in mind of, you know, junk journaling <clears throat> or making a, a journal page. So I got an idea, an idea of what I'm going to do with these things. But what really caught my eye was this Art Nouveau vellum. So beautiful. Really beautiful. I've got another uh, idea for that one. But basically, it's just these cute, cute pieces. This is, uh, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, really um, likable pale pink. Like a vintage pink. This is some of her digi art. I am amazed over what she's making in digi art. She also has an Instagram account where you can follow Devon Rex's digital so it's just Devon Rex digital on Etsy no I'm sorry on Instagram oh man look at this <laughs> this is so funny it's so cute but yeah I got the oh this one is this is Jane Davenport Oh, this is cute. This is actually, I think, punched out fabric and then with some ribbon on top of it. And it's a card. <clears throat> Doo -doo. Nice, right? Oh, I got your back ATC card from Devon Rex. What I love about her collage style is that she's putting um, things together on as you can see on top of each other it's just like that's why I think it's so difficult to do collage because I find it um, so many possibilities you know <laughs> that I lose my uh, my head in the thinking process and then overthink stuff um, yeah so I, I think uh, yeah, collage is, is something I really admire when other people are doing. But I, I don't, I'm not sure that I have the the guts to limit myself 
so I, I probably would just end up with a lot of fussy cut, cut items and never have the imagination <laughs> to put them together in a scenery like this. I mean, what, how do you know to pull out a frog, a penguin, and then a huge flower? I mean, yeah, to me that's like really creative. Thank you, thank you so much, Devin, you're so sweet. And then I also received some heavy mail from Sandra. And this is just, you know, very new. Lots of manga that really blew my my head off. Look at this merman. I think it's a guy. I'm pretty sure it's a man. Isn't it just mesmerizing to look at with all the details and that manga style? I love it so so much. I'm not sure if it's stickers or if it is um, you know you just cut them out fuzzy cut them out. It's amazing. Thank you so much Sandra. Cute cute napkins. I love 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 napkins and this is also something that blew me away. Look at this. Oh isn't it just beautiful? I think it's stickers. Um, I totally think about my new palette. You know, the Kiritaki Gansai Tambe Ad Nouveau colors. And I can really feel that I need to explore this, these uh, kimonos and there's something really likable, really likable about this. Thank you so much, Sandra. And then a gorgeous, gorgeous mermaid in that manga style with pastel colors and lots of shimmer. I mean, Sandra and I, we just both love a little bit of bling bling on our stuff, whether it comes from glitter or even glitter paper I mean that is just the best oh I'm just carefully gonna peel this off this is so different I don't even know if I've I don't think I've seen anything like this before I'm pretty sure that it's some sort of washi yeah but the surface is reminds me of the press on tattoos, you know, that kind of a, a slick surface. It's very likable, very likable. Thank you so much. And these are also so cute. <laughs> you have a total theme going on here, Sandra, with this uh, kind of manga inspired look at this. Oh my God. Yeah. Alcohol markers. It just makes me think about, I should um, try do a rendition of that with alcohol markers. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute. <laughs> a sh a she-shed <laughs> with a lot of items around it. You got such cute stuff. Oh, this is also so cute. This was the first one that I saw when I opened the envelope and then I quickly closed the envelope back on, you know, like, like, I have to wait until I show this. <laughs> this is like holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving. So cute. And this is just stunning. There's a lot of detail in these. I wonder if it's like stickers no okay <laughs> and then uh, a napkin an Easter bunny napkin so cute I've never seen that before oh. this is also super nice I'm thinking I might be able to <coughs> even uh, do, s I have to do something where I'm using this, maybe this plastic as a pocket. 
think it's a fun idea that it's lying like this. Thank you so much, Sandra. Oh, there's more of these. Gold. Oh, it's it's very difficult to see. Maybe if I do like this. Yeah, it is so, so cool. It's rub-on transfer adhesive. Oh my God. I have to try it. Yeah, now now that I know that it's transfer adhesive, I can kind of tell what's the front and the back. You can kind of feel it. That is amazing. I mean, it's the first time that I have tried these uh, rub-ons. I know they have been around for a very long time, and I've seen all of you guys use them, but I've never used uh, tried rub-ons myself I really really wanted to buy the Jane Davenport journal tattoos because they are like rub-ons but you know the shipping and import taxes from Australia is just insane so I was actually hoping for it to appear magically on Amazon but it never really does it's very few things from Jane Davenport's things that shows up on Amazon and then it's always from her I think 2017 release of her collection Ooh, add Brussels. <clears throat> thank you so much Sandra so generous and sweet of you and then I have received this recently from Teresa Petersman with a cute card inside look how beautiful it is Stunning with gold in like um, outlined in gold and then a gold hello sticker. <laughs> That's just so beautiful. Really, really, you know, well done. Smile, happy, looks good on you. <laughs> Isn't it cute? And then I did not stream in February, but I received this also from Teresa in February. I just want to show it. It is winter wishes with these punched out snowflakes. You can't really tell, but there's like uh, transparent snowflakes. And then this is layered up. It is so cute. And then she colored in herself the bird. I love it so much. And inside it's stamped with this winter stamp. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it really I don't really deserve so many nice things <laughs> well this journal was supposed to be for the scavenger hunt 2022 but I ran out of time so instead that year I had a very slim version of my scavenger hunt where I used a calendar do I have it just at hand I think I showed it so many times that you probably gotta barf when you see it one more time <laughs> but I did my scavenger hunt in this way you know so I kind of squeezed it in so I still have not utilized this journal and it's a homemade journal but now I think I would utilize it to put in happy mails because um as you can see i got some happy mail from deborah adams that i put here it's a homemade journal uh, maybe i should talk about that the binding is very very easy i simply just punched holes on each page and then just stitched it together it's nothing special and it's super wonky you either like it or, or you hate it I'm like in between I don't I haven't really <laughs> used this much so I'm, I'm not there yet where I either get sick of it being so unstable but hey maybe it's got a charm to it I don't know and then um, paper pack is the same throughout the whole journal and I have a lot of flaps that can open 
an attack and my intention with the tags was because I thought that I was going to be doing the scavenger hunt so I could write the prompts and the prompt number on the tag and the reason for all these flaps is because some of the prompts uh, can be done in like a small <laughs> surface so but I never used it for the scavenger hunt so my uh, journal flip through of this particular journal is going to be like where it is you know not, not much to show and then because uh, I missed out using it for its original use I started to do clusters and wanted to use this journal as like a, a collage thing but like like I said earlier I find it so difficult to collage so I still leave areas to draw something but um, here I got one of Teresa's cards and I think I will uh, I like the way that it's presented like this happy mail so I think I will continue using this journal to glue in cards and then hopefully do some artwork on these uh, blank pages that are in this journal this is from Kathy Burke I think old paper and then here I uh, painted um, something on watercolor paper and then I just glued it in I don't think it looks crazy glued in like that so I might push myself to do some uh, outdoor sketching this summer on small pieces of paper and then I could also glue them in like here oh, da, da, da. <laughs> nothing like showing an empty journal it's like I don't know there's not much to see but what I have done is that I have on some of the flaps glued this is watercolor paper with some foiling embossed into it so I've glued one on each side so it becomes this um, tip-in kind of style this is also one of Teresa's cards yeah this is it's a good idea to uh, glue in happy mail in in this book here look I really like these pages and I like that um, you know it's so difficult to use a piece of paper that's embossed with gold like that because uh, what a strange background to draw anything on it so I think it's perfect for gluing something on top of it so I kind of hope that also here I made a cluster and it's very difficult for me what to glue on top of it I need to um, push myself and to be more creative oh another card oh this is a, an, a, an insert that Teresa sent that you can put into your junk journal isn't it awesome my junk journal is a little bit narrow so it, it kind of sticks out so that's why it ended up in this book here instead <clears throat> and now we're at the end look how I just uh, glued on a tack on a piece of paper and then glued it on the flap insert I really like that as something to grab on so I really like these tags they are like in the middle and not like sticking out of the edge of the paper yeah this journal just go on and on and on <laughs> it's actually got a lot of uh, real estate a lot of pages and then uh, that was it <clears throat> yeah I should totally take this out from the from the stash and then just um, find a way to utilize it here in 2023 and 
cover this scavenger hunt tag up so that the, um, it can get a new name. Then, I don't know if you watched Dee Dee Willingham this week, but she was showing some boxes from China. <clears throat> and my mother-in-law, she actually went to China twice. And back home from her trip, she got these things. And I just wanted to show them because I think that's so cute. They're so cute. This is very similar to the thing that Dee Dee showed. It's a calligraphy set where you got a porcelain dish, your ink in a stick, and then this palette, you could call it, where you should grind this in here with some water. I have no idea what this cocaine spoon is for. <laughs> No idea. I don't, I don't even know if you should pour something from here to here. No idea. And then these two brushes. I've tried both brushes, but when the, we first saw them, they were like totally glued together, you know. So it had like a, a fine tip, and when they're wet, they the tip is uh, formed again. So I know that the, the brushes look a little bit bushy and you would think like how can you <laughs> draw something accurate with them but the tip sh uh, shapes up to a pointy tip when they're wet. Love this set but haven't really used it much. Uh, I am... Um, I'm not the... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a calligrapher. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I, I rarely think of this as some sort of a tool, you know, like, like, yeah, I should lay it out on the desk because then uh, I would think about my mother-in-law and then also maybe be motivated to, to use it. My mother-in-law's name is Lone, and when she was down there, she had this stamp set made. So you got her name, Luna, and then it's written in Chinese. And this is just so heavy. <laughs> I think it's a koi fish that's curled together and looks a bit like a dragon. But I definitely get the impression of some dragon merged together with something looking like a fish scale and then down here we got the stamp of uh, her name and this porcelain dish got that red ink this have to be like the tourist attraction <laughs> like I, I bet that everyone who come home from China is carrying stuff like this in their handbag and their luggage. This is like the best. My cat loved these. Look. I don't really know how to use them, but you're supposedly going to de-stress when you roll these balls in your hand. And there, I think there is something about you have to be able to do it so they don't make any sound because as you can hear they have two different noises or maybe you can't hear the difference there is a difference between these two uh, the noise that they make and my cat thinks that this is just a treat to push around in the floor especially on our carpet when it rolls on the uh, uh, wooden floors, it's very loud, you know. <laughs> but when it rolls on carpet, you get that pure ringing sound. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, um, I just wanted to show them. They were cute. Okay, and then... For the journal flip through, 
I was looking in my stash and then the only thing that came to mind was that I don't know if you guys watched Bob Owen's last uh, stream drama free Friday it was and she was showing some pictures and some of the <laughs> pictures were of her in a motorcycle outfit and then she talked about how she used to be riding on a bike and Dot in chat also revealed that she used to be a biker and even have gone on a big road trip through France, Holland and all the way up to Denmark and it just made me think about this journal right here it's a very special journal where I am <laughs> writing a story and the reason for doing that was because I thought it could be fun to illustrate drawings to something that I wrote because I've been painting paintings and loose sheets and then just random stuff in a journal so suddenly I had the urge to draw and sketch something that really meant like an add-on to a bigger piece so that's why I started this journal right here where I had the opportunity to tell a crazy story while being able to uh, do illustrations to it and I must say that illustrations are super super fun I would love to be able to get the imagination to write another story so I can have an excuse to do more illustrations I really really found that's the upside down page <laughs> but since it's a wheel a spoke or what's it called it doesn't really matter <laughs> so but I thought it was so funny to write this story and then uh, being able to pick any item from whatever I was writing about there's like free choice so here I'm trying to um, draw Robert Vaughn, you know, Janet M. Young's husband, the rat. A lot of fibs are mentioned in this story. This is also Robert. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I don't even know. how to um, explain what's going on in this super super long story I think I should uh, read it and then um, put it out on my uh, channel in some sort of a cohesive like if, if I was so brave could I like uh, read it from one end to another and then upload like those uh, those couple of hours that it takes I think that's possible I really should <laughs> a lot of uh, people are mentioned in this book right here that's either from our community or someone that you heard about you know like Janet's hobby it's not like he streams but we all know who he is and then there's like CP the unicorn that frequents uh, Dee Dee and Janet's channel oh this is stuck together but um, I'm not really sure if uh, I should say a lot of things it's not like a fabulous story but it was uh, you know my imagination so you know what kind of low level we are at <laughs> totally like childish totally fiction and um, just getting worse and worse in the storytelling this is supposed to be Eileen who uh, well the story is about time traveling you know <laughs> so you never really know when you time travel how you're gonna appear 
when when you reach your destination so she uh, appears in that dress oh sippy the unicorn yeah <laughs> i got that what the hell oh my god that is so funny okay fun fact cp blocked me oh yeah cp totally blocked me on twitter i think this must be more sick than he could take in his already sick mind so he blocked me on twitter yeah i'm so sorry when i finally read this and upload it to my channel if someone gets offended but let me know in the comments below if you recall being in this story and dislike that and then i will uh, omit publishing this on youtube now i stop at bob owen because bob owen is going to uh, she's a rescuer in this story and she is riding on her bike and then she actually told me what kind of bike her and the Klausman had when they rode bikes. So I went online and found a picture of that exact motorcycle and then drew Bob Oren next to it. And then in the story, she's going to be a savior, a rescuer. So I drew an angel holding her like to give her support so that's why there is this angel <laughs> behind her but oh my god it, it was just so hilarious to imagine Bob Owen in this particular bike because it is so masculine I would never have predicted that she would you know fall for this kind of a masculine heavy heavy bike <laughs> I think it because today there are so many designs and models that that this just come across as something like super heavy, durable, masculine. Like there's so much to test on <laughs> this particular brand that it was a surprise for me when I looked it up and I really had to look twice, you know, like did I spell it right? amazing and here Barb's takes off and then her registration plate I just wrote Barb <laughs> so but as I mentioned dot Dorothy from the UK also is a biker so uh, let, let us flip to where we meet Dorothy dot <clears throat> oh here she is <laughs> and then <laughs> I dressed her up looking almost like a German commander because I wanted to portray Mr. Copper stick in her hand so one thing led to another so uh, suddenly she uh, she's depicted like this <laughs> I love it so much this is so funny and I chose to put a sidecar on her bike because um, she's going to collect someone. I won't say more than that. But yeah, this is uh, quite a long story. In fact, this is Dot here again with her hidden skills. And oh my god, this is why I want to do illustrations more. Having action scenes where a lot of things is happening, movements was such a... Um, uh, how can you say? It was a challenge. Yeah, it was a challenge to, um, to draw and show a lot of action and movement. So I learned so much. Uh, from illustrating this story of how to express things and this is one of the pages that was like really difficult to <laughs> illustrate <laughs> also here they are plowing through a cornfield and I wanted to illustrate like that chaos so um, 
I don't think that I quite got into I should have made more like flying obstacles but yeah it was uh, it was fun okay this is the end then the books ended but the story didn't end so I had to continue in uh, this journal right here these journals by the way are from paper blank you can get them on Amazon what I like about these uh, paper blank journals is that they are it's like good quality and I love all that shimmer and bling bling and it's a replication of real books that exist you know there is this, a real book that inspired this cover somewhere out there in the world okay this journal is different here I'm trying to keep my illustration on the left side and do the writing on the right side so um, here I'm trying to yeah have an illustration framed in into this gold frame right here and then the writing here I'm not so sure that I like that style <laughs> because it narrows down your space for movements and it just gives you suddenly a small postcard frame to do uh, your illustration in but it, hey it looks organized and awesome and um, I really love how if I could have pulled it through to the you know the end with a lot of illustrations but then you know sometimes uh, it takes a I talk a lot you know <laughs> so imagine me writing I, I write a lot and comes with a lot of explanations so sometimes it's difficult for each page spread to find actually a drawing that makes sense to me these uh, blank spaces up here are not yet filled out I can um, reveal some of it now <clears throat> the whole thing is that uh, Barb Owen is doing these deck of cards where she is illustrating her mandalas and uh, each card got a motivational quote on it and um, because Barb Owen is is getting challenged with so many difficulties like hey the group of people she's traveling with to start with <laughs> in this story so I thought it could be fun if she um, instead of having cute motivational quotes came with really gnarly sarcastic quotes so that's why I I saved this space up here for those sarcastic Bob quotes that I was supposed to invent throughout this story and then some sort of mandala design because she's like the queen of mandalas right like life is lived by pushing forward but understand by looking backwards not so gnarly but <clears throat> yeah so that's the reason why there are these uh, cut out uh, mandalas like here a mandala that I drew and then white space up here to write something on it but one thing is to have a great idea about that what was what is was going to be another thing is to actually f come up with original crazy quotes <laughs> Um, that's difficult right so I, I just came up with stuff like just do it and then go wash your hands because um, we are in COVID so during the quarantine it was like oh there's a lot of things that we didn't dare to do because it was dangerous if we got the virus so I just was inspired by the Nike quote of just do it and then add it and then go wash your hands <laughs> and of course it's never too late to fuck it up um, yeah this section here is the end because the story ends with them yeah okay I'm not gonna reveal too much 
but the story ends and then the ending of the ending is a display of this deck this new deck of barb's mandalas with her quotes on it and i display it like this <laughs> That was it. <clears throat> yeah, that was a. Uh, that was those journals of this one. And then I wanted the last thing I wanted to show you is this journal right here. The reason why it's out on my desk is because look at the leather cover. It's been totally scuffed up. It looks so dry. I don't know. It's not dry. I just get that feeling when I touch it and I think it's um, it's not because I rolled it or anything it's just uh, it seems dry and it's scuffed up usually I like that kind of patina on a, a leather journal bound thing but I just think that this looks a little bit uh, I don't know I wanna rub it into beeswax and see if I can remove some of this the scuff marks and then also obtain that glow that this leather originally had when I first saw it so um, maybe I should do that actually on this upload so we all can see how dark the leather becomes, uh, if it helps under all the scratch marks and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's an old journal, and the first I think I have shown you guys a lot of times the first section, because the first sec section is just junk journaling from and not junk journaling. Yeah, it's just me journaling. Uh, it's summer. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's just journal. And then there is a section right here. I think I showed it in numerous times also. I use it for art on the couch where I have a small sticker up here. And it's like a, an inspiration to what I can draw because then I can just mindlessly get my uh, daily fix of using colors while watching TV because I got a reference photo on the top of the page so oh my camera is okay let me see what I can do with this camera okay I think it was just uh, too much white apparently on these pages so my camera kind of freaked out but back to this uh, little uh, leather about the upside down page. What's wrong with me? <laughs> that is so annoying. Okay, I'm just going to flip quickly through this. I think you have seen it a zillion times. What I'm getting a kick out of on this uh, journal section is um, the borders. I'm totally inspired by patterns that I see on Pinterest and then I just loosely do my rendition of them and it's fun I mean it's uh, a way to kill time <laughs> and then I mix in some of my you know the, th the things that happened that summer oh this is beautiful I love it love it it's got like I think five signatures this uh, let me see does it One, two, three, four, five. yes five signatures and it's an ongoing journal it's not finished so um, but since we're having this journal flip through Friday I thought that I could sneak in a flip through of this book right here okay I think I, I explained how this section works this signature is throughout the whole signature this idea of uh, having a sticker on top and then trying to replicate what's going on not all it doesn't work always 
like you know just take her of something else and then the drawing of something totally different and here it just went crazy here there's a lot of things glued in it's not typical me to glue in stuff so pages looks kind of bare oh I'm totally into these pots right here but what I like to do on this uh, it's like paper from India is to use watercolor on them I just like the way that the watercolor soaks into the paper and kind of stay put it's not always um, what what is it called like I don't always prefer to paint on cotton paper with sizing on it sometimes it's it's likable to paint with 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 a substrate where things just stay put when you when you apply it okay this section right here is where I try I try really hard to make like a mixed media page spread where I use collage and the uh, acrylic background and then work on top of that these first four pages is just about my wise aunt I just took uh, photocopies of bigger drawings and put them in but this section ended up being <laughs> about women with glasses on so it starts right here where I'm trying to collage things and then here it says like my favorite male are those ones that comes with the smiling penis and the smiling penis is uh, the logo from Amazon to me it's like totally a penis <laughs> and then I couldn't like illustrate it here I just used a sticker of a mushroom and then I drew these um, small girls right here with round glasses on and I think I got the inspiration from something I saw on the it must be the internet I'm pretty sure that there is an artist who has a lot of these girls with big eyes and then glasses on I love this one waiting for spring what I love about this girl right here is her bushy hair I just love that fluffy hair she's got and then look how clumsy I am in collaging I really try <laughs> like pattern paper and then something from Daphne's diary a stamp and then some washi tape but I I dislike the style I mean it, it, to me it looks clutter and clumsy so I'm still working on it this one says I see sign that it is time to leave my house and then you can see on her that she's been sitting there for so long that mushrooms are growing from her kneecap <laughs> and she's like totally like weed is just growing up around her yeah this is uh, so lovely with that bushy hair I really love it <laughs> this here says on Danish translated to English the report Wazowski it's from the um, Monsters Inc a Disney film or a Pixar film because I just thought that this owl when I gave glasses on the owl it reminded me of the character from Monsters Inc this is prepped this is how it starts you know like acrylic paint and then just some pattern paper some stickers and then hopefully an awesome drawing to come on top of it so um yeah there's not much to to say Oh yeah, this is a recent page. 
It says translated to English that it took a war in Europe before we learned to shut off the light and save on the heat bill. And it's because, and I need something to say, close the fucking door. <laughs> because I can't express how many times I have yelled at people in this house to close the damn door. I probably have yelled it so many times that if we had a talking pirate in a cage, like a parrot, not a pirate, oh my god, <laughs> a, a sober pirate that is sober enough to construct sentence and talk, no, not that, if we had a parrot, a bird, you know, <laughs> it would probably learn to speak the sentence, close the damn door. As the first people in this house I think they grew up in a public place with electric doors because they just waltz right in and then never close the door <laughs> so and this drawing right here says I got days where I wish I had the guts to try out mushrooms <laughs> like it okay this one is a little bit funny remember when hobby began farting in public the first time you were like totally embarrassed the tenth time you just roll your eyes and then now it's like oh there you are <laughs> oh my god that is hilarious we hire maids <laughs> and then I love the way that I think Laurie Paint Girl he got that book from that um, artist who does these very significant faces oh by the way the way that I do these faces is that I don't know if it's visible here or maybe here okay here it's vis visible I punched out with a circle punch on a piece of paper and that round shape is just the head and then I start gluing the head down and then add the neck the shoulders hair and glasses and then that's how I make these uh, these faces let's see if there's more of them that's a different kind of one it says, I rolled my eyes so hard I checked out my own ass. Hmm, that's an old quote. Oh, this is lovely. But look at me trying to do this collage. Uh, not sure that I am a fan. It's harder than it seems like. Who the hell stole my magic wand? <laughs> I forgot that one. Uh, lovable. Oh, so cute. I lost my wings and then she's just looking so sad. <laughs> I think that's the last one. The last two signatures are empty. So it is still a work in progress. So, yeah. Okay. Seems like I did do something. Oh, I just had some notes here for something that I, I painted. Yeah, but this cover right here, I really think that... Oh, I'm sorry. I just laid this. Uh, it's actually shopping bags. Now I think I can remove them because we're not going to see the, the blank pages. It's shopping bags in fabric. Okay, this cover here is so scuffed up. So I was thinking to apply some beeswax to it and hopefully get that dark leather back because in that dark color was this um, glow, you could say. How am I going to do this? Okay, maybe I should first apply it. And then let it soak in and then buff it off. 
how about that what I'm using here is called one hundred percent natural beeswax and I think you can pretty much get it if not on Amazon then on places <clears throat> do you still have those small shops that are making copies of keys like a tobacco shop where you also can uh, get your shoe fixed and stuff like that maybe that belongs to the past but those places where they're fixing shoes and stuff also sells these polishing thing for for leather so better support that little store in your town than going to Amazon some stores are just uh, disappearing because uh, today some shoes are so inexpensive that people don't get them fixed they just throw them out and buy a second new pair Ooh, I like this it's like the leather is not treated so I can see that it's still like open and soak and will soak in this grease if you don't have beeswax I think that you could also use some sort of olive oil like like a, like you know you, you have in your kitchen if you need a instant <laughs> polished look yeah I'm just giving it a generous thick amount I think I'm gonna leave it for at least a couple of hours and let the beeswax soak into the leather before I come and buff it off so I'm just gonna end my video now thank you for if you're still here thank you for hanging on for so long and I hope that you enjoyed my journal flip through yeah look it's already there's areas here where it's already soaked in that was really the worst area like the front of the journal yeah maybe it was a little bit untraditional flip through because it was not you could say like a traditional sketchbook <laughs> But please give me feedback if you think it's a super bad idea that I publish that crazy fib story that I once once wrote. And I will look out for that comment. And if uh, you don't want to be portrayed in this story, I will try and uh, see if I can leave out that chapter and then read and publish the rest of the story because knowing me it probably is possible that a whole chapter can be not read and then the story will, wouldn't lack anything from that missing action <laughs> Oh, love it. Can you see how it darkened up and got that glow back? I can see it. Yeah, love it. I think this was just what it needed. Now it's not so grayish. Before it felt like it was a bit grayish to look at from the side. But now it's got that uh, the dark leather back. Love it. I wish you a nice week. So, see you next week. Bye-bye.